everybody, it's Sarah back with another spinning video. And here, today we are going to talk about spinning the faux lags that I made last week. So, a lot of people expressed interest in seeing how I spin these. And so I wanted to show you guys how I did it. Um, I'm going to be using a support spindle. This is a die roll from Malcolm Fielding and Jory Free. Uh, this one happened to have been made by Jory and both of my spindles happen to be made by Jory even though now officially Malcolm has uh, given the bit or let Jory take over the business. So if you are interested in one of these little beauties, you can go to uh, the Ravelry group for the Lace Bobbin and they will be able to tell you when updates and things are happening for that. Um, so here we have my nice little Victoria's Secret perfume box. It's about 10 years old. It's kind of shabby at this point. Um, but it is perfect for storing faux lags. And it basically keeps them in order for me so I know how to spin them. And I took a piece of tape and wrote work right to left on this. So I remember which order I should be spinning in. So I'm going to be starting with this one and working over to here and then I'll come all the way back over here and work all the way back over across again. That way I know that I'm keeping my color progression exactly how it should be. Um, also in my last video we discussed the how it's okay if you have fluffy ends on your faux lags because they make excellent join points. So here we have my spindle and here's my singles and here, I hope you guys can see this, um, we have the end of my single that does not have any twist in it and it's still a little bit fluffy. So basically what you need to do in order to make a nice clean join is trick the fiber into thinking it's never been broken. So those fluffy ends are going to get married and have babies basically. They're going to stick together and never come apart. So all I'm going to do is take my single and lay it right on top of my faux lag, like right in the middle, and just hold it with my thumb and my forefinger. And then we're going to give the spindle a little twist. And you can see here already that these fibers are grabbing onto each other. So add a little bit more twist and they're still grabbing. So now we have a nice clean join and it's nice and strong, it's not coming apart. So you just add some more twist and let the fiber slide as the twist grabs it and add some more twist and wind it on. You can also double drop these. So you can let the twist in completely, pinch farther back and let the twist magically do its job. And as you pull, the thicker spots thin out because twist automatically goes to the thinnest spot. So you can either go nice and slow and manage how much fiber you're letting the twist take, just like this. And then add some more twist so it doesn't come apart. Or you can add some twist, jump back, and double draft it out. And it does just magically do its job and thin out just like all the rest and wind that on. It's really quite simple. They're really so easy to spin because they're not too thick. They just don't clump up like other faux lags that I've done where I've smoothed them down. The, the smoothed down ones clump up really easily but these just seem to draft really nicely and evenly without any kind of trouble. And it doesn't matter whether you 
double draft or draft as you go, the resulting yarn is still going to be the same. It's going to look the same. Um, that's really all there is to this. It is so simple and so easy and so fun um, to just know that you have, you know, an hour or two of spinning in this box that you can just plow right through. Heck, it might only be 45 minutes. Um, and, and then you can go back to the drawing board and make more faux lags and put them in progression and spin them again. Um, that is really about it for this video. Uh, these can be spun either on a support spindle or a drop spindle or a wheel. Um, they, they're really perfect for any kind of woolen spinning where you don't have woolen prep, but you want a woolen yarn. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave me a comment and down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any recommendations or requests for specific things that you would like to see, you can either leave me a comment below or you can find me on Ravelry. I'm Mrs. Flick there. And I, I'm pretty much there every day, <laughs> so you can always find me. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know, and I will talk to you next time. See you later. Bye!